Hey kids, we sure do miss you. I hope that you are staying safe and well and we look forward to when we can be back together. Um, but until then, I am grateful that you are here today and we're gonna learn something new together. Um, I love that I got to do this craft with you because it's something that's super important um, to our family in particular. We spend a ton of time outside and one of the reasons that we do is exactly what we learned about in your Bible story today. is because being outside and seeing all of the things that God created reminds us of who God is and how he thinks about us. So it's a wonderful thing to, to spend time out in God's creation. Let me read this verse to you. You heard it in your Bible story today, but I want to read it one more time. It says, ever since the world was created, it has been possible to see the qualities of God that are not seen. I'm talking about his eternal power and the fact that he is God. Those things can be seen in what he has made. So we love that because when we're outside and we look up at the sky, we remember how incredibly powerful that God is, that he could create galaxies upon galaxies. And yet, when we look at the ground and we see an ant or any of the little things, we were remember that he cares so much for us, even the smallest things, and he created them so uniquely and um, just intricately. It's an amazing thing. So we love to spend time out in nature, and I encourage you to spend as much time outside as you can and just remember who God is um, when you're there by looking at the things that he made. So the craft that we're doing today is um, we're going to do some leaf rubbings, and the reason that I chose that is because it can take something that's outside and bring it inside to remind us that even when we're inside, um, that God's creation is near, and we can remember what God teaches us through his creation. So the very first thing I want you to do is go outside, and then um, take a look around your yard and find like five or six bushes or trees that you can pluck just one leaf off. Um, be gentle when you pluck it off, but um, go gather those up and I'll meet you inside for our craft. Okay, well I'm back from my leaf hunt. I hope you guys had tons of success on your leaf hunt. I had lots of success in mine. I found plants all the way from the tiniest ones in my landscape to my very favorite, just giant and one of the things that I love about all the leaves that I collected is that it reminds me of something about God, just like we were talking about before, in that how God created us so different from one another. See how different these are? Just like me, I'm very different than my friends, but God created us both so uniquely and different, but so special. He put just as much love and, and, um, into creating this one as he did in this one. And I love thinking about that and what God thinks about me and my friends being different, but how he loves us both just the same. So that's one of the things I want to remind myself of all the time. So when I talked about we're going to take creation from outside and we're going to bring it inside to be reminders when we're inside, we're going to make um, some posters today. So I'm just going to make an, um, a small one for my refrigerator, but you can make these big if you want. Um, I wrote our Bible verse on the bottom. Let us keep looking to Jesus. So we're going to take this and we're going to make some leaf rubbings from it. They're super simple. So you're going to take one of your leaves or actually maybe like three of them and lay them down on your table on a piece of paper in any kind of design that you want. And then you're going to take your paper that has your verse on it and you're going to lay it right on top of your leaves and just squish them down. Kind of rub your hands over it for a minute so it makes your leaves nice and flat. Okay. And then you're going to take some crayons. Just you probably have ones that already have your paper off in your crayon box. But if you don't, you'll just peel the paper off of them. Um, I chose some fun colors like this, some bright ones, because it reminds me of fall, which is another time of year that reminds me especially about Jesus. So, um, so I love those. I chose those colors. So all you do is take your color and you're gonna rub it right over the top of the leaf that you have on the bottom. And as you rub it on there, you'll see the image of your leaf appearing in whatever color that you're using. So I'm gonna switch colors for my next leaf. I'll do this one in blue. Let's see. See, yours probably come out something like that. So I'm gonna do my last one. My last one's a super tiny one. I hope that yours are coming out just as well. So you can do this with your tiny ones. I'm gonna do one 
with my big one with my favorite one. This one, you can use multiple colors on your leaves if you want, kind of make it look like a rainbow. You can be creative and do it any way that you want. These might be a good thing. They could be something that you give in a card to someone that you love to remind them how much Jesus loves them. Something you can put in your room or near your computer when you're doing your homework. If, um, or just anywhere that you need to be reminded to look to Jesus. And when you look to Jesus, you will learn about him, how creative he is, and how powerful and how amazing he is. So hope you enjoy. Can't wait to see you guys back in person soon.